Sam, you got some good pictures that I could get off of you from that cake? Today we'll be making some banana pudding. And right here you got a quarter of a cup of cornstarch, a half teaspoon of salt, and three quarters cups of sugar. And we're gonna mix that in the pot. The stove is not on. For all you crazy folks, the stove is not on, I promise. Then you're gonna get two egg yolks, room temperature, and one whole egg. And you're going to mix that in with your dry ingredients. Then we're going to add two cans of canned milk. You can use pet milk, store brand milk, carnation milk, whatever kind you like. Two cans of that, you add that to your eggs and your dry mixture. And y'all going to see me cleaning that stove off a lot because I like to cook and clean at the same time because ain't nothing worse than having a dirty kitchen while you cooking. All right, and I'm gonna sit here and stir, 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 and stir some more. And always try to use a wooden spoon when you're using those kind of pots. Dance break. <laughs> All right, back to the video. And y'all see me stirring, stirring, and y'all see the steam is starting to come up. Once it gets to a certain type of thickness and you feel it, then you start stirring fast, just like I did right now. And do not get discouraged because you are gonna see a bunch of a bunch of lumps start to form. And you're gonna see it like a bunch of them, but you gotta keep on stirring. I mean you gotta stir real fast. You know, you gotta you gotta beat it like beat it like you beat something that you don't like. Beat it like you beat that sickness that you beat. All right, beat it like you beat the bar exam. You just gotta keep on beating. You gotta be, you gotta keep on going because the uh, stove is still hot. And I have the stove on a medium heat, medium low heat. You don't want to go above a medium low. Between a one and an eight, you want to keep it at about a four, between four and five on your stove. And you see me beating it? You see them lumps starting to disappear? You see them lumps starting to disappear? They, they they about gone. You see it talking to me? I always say the food talking to me when they blow, when them bubbles come up from the heat. And you're gonna add you one full can of sweetened condensed milk in there and stir that in. And you wanna keep on stirring because that stove is still on. But now I have it on a low. So about a two or three. Cause you still wanna cook out that cornstarch taste, that raw cornstarch taste. Um, from your pudding. And right here I have two tablespoons of salted butter and eight ounces of cream cheese. Now you do not have to add cream cheese. I like adding cream cheese to mine to take away some of the sweetness. And there you go, it's all nice and stir it up and smooth, lump free, ready for you to start layering. And here I got my water for crystal bowl and yes, there is still a sticker on it because this bowl is worth a lot of money and I refuse to remove that sticker. <laughs> So on a clean bowl, you want to start layering. You can layer it however you want. I'm using vanilla wafer cookies, and I understand vanilla wafer, they also have a lemon flavored um, wafer cookie. You can use whatever you want, but I'm using vanilla wafer. You know, I'm doing this old school. Put my cookies on the bottom, and now I'm sitting here putting, slicing my bananas into it. You can slice yours as thick or as thin as you want to. I don't like a whole lot of bananas in my banana pudding. So you're gonna see me put more cookies than bananas in mine. And yes, I am not wearing a glove because I am in my house. My hands are clean 
and ain't nobody eating this but me. Well, I might share if I'm in a good mood. <laughs> Cause banana pudding is my favorite. So you saw me do cookies and then the bananas and then the pudding. And now you see me putting another layer of um, cookies on there. And you wanna arrange it kinda, you know, kinda attractive because you know you wanna see it from the side and it's a clear bowl and you wanna, you know, you wanna impress your guests. And I do apologize for it being so many months in between videos, you guys. But now I'm back, all right? And y'all gonna be getting... Oops, sorry. Put the whole half banana in there. Now y'all be getting... Y'all gonna start getting these videos back to back to back. I promise you. I'm gonna keep up this time. And y'all are going to love some of the things that I have in store for you guys. Keep subscribing. Keep sharing. Keep watching the videos. And y'all going this channel is going to take off. I promise you there's gonna be some prizes for some of my subscribers who are diligent. The ones who always comment. There are, there's gonna be some prizes. I got some good things coming up for you guys. So stay tuned. And then if there's something that you guys want to see me make, just inbox me. Email me at samuelcoffee.com. At samuelcoffee.com. Email me at Samuel Coffee at AOL.com, or you can inbox me on Instagram, Mr. Coffee's Table, Facebook, Mr. Coffee's Table, Instagram, Mr. Coffee's Table, did I say that already? <laughs> Twitter, Mr. Coffee's Table, inbox me. Let me know if there's a recipe you want me to do. I'll buy everything and I'll do it for you and I'll show you how it's done. I'll do it my way. All right, now I'm putting my whipped cream on there. You don't have to use whipped cream. Back in old school, old school, but it took them egg yolks and whipped them, I mean them egg whites, beat them egg whites up with some sugar and put it on top like that like I'm doing, but they would have put theirs in the oven. And they, they would have had theirs warm. I like mine warm sometimes too, but when I'm serving it to other people, I like to chill it. And now y'all see me, you know, doing my little razzle dazzle on the top because you know I don't like nothing normal. Put my cookies on there. You know, you know, make it, you know, make it your own. Make it look good. Crumbling some of the extra cookies that I got. You don't want nothing to go to waste. Don't want nothing to go to waste. And there you have it, my friends. I just decorated with some strawberries because I like strawberries with mine. And there you have it. You got you some banana homemade put in. Show enough banana pudding. Make this for your friends. Make it for your families. Take it to your next potluck. You know? And thank you for watching. Make sure you go and subscribe to my Twitter page. Make sure you go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And make sure you go to my Facebook, Mr. Coffee's Table. Y'all have a blessed day.